Yes! Finally! Someone's actually done it! Thank you! Thank you, Forza! I'm actually grateful! They have gone and added the Civic Type R. Oh my. Yes, I want to spend them Forza Thon points. This car, why is it so... Why do I care so much? This car has been... Oh. Every single time I get told that, yes, we have a Honda Civic Type R and Alligator. It is the absolutely pants last generation. I don't care if you disagree with me, but this is a million bajillion times better than the old rubbish. Get out. It's the one people want. This is what you want if you want a Civic. You want this one. You don't want the big stupid pregnant one. This one is usually the one that we get given and I have had enough of it. Can it please be gone? Let's be real. Honda had a challenge on their hands when they had to make a cool car from this. What in the heck is that? I don't know. The best two, okay, of the Civics is the Honda 1997 Civic Type R and then the new one, which we now have. I almost completely missed this. I, I saw it <laughs> in another video and I was like, Wait, they're adding something we want. I know, it's crazy. Now, I want to know what we can do in this. We can swap in another straight four. We can make it rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Let's be real. If they made an all-wheel drive one, it would be amazing. But this is such an incredible car. I want to say, can you add four zero bits to it? Yeah, you can. It doesn't add an under tray to it, which is a little bit unfortunate. But it's okay. We can remove the wang and put a... Bloody Forza one! You've absolutely waste, wasted opportunity here. So anyway, let's put some tire compound on it. I want to see how this thing drives properly upgraded, banged out. I mean, this is the first time I'm properly going for it. Add a little bit of a play. We've got spacers on this bad boy as well. Can we put them on the back so they actually align properly? No. Yes, we can! Normally, I wouldn't jump in and just fully upgrade everything because, let's be real, that's what everyone does. I usually complain about when people do that, but I've not driven this car before. I really want to see what it's like when you put the full meat and taters in it. It's a front-wheel drive car, but it handles power well. Will it handle about a bajillion horsepower by the time we're done it with this front-wheel driveness? I hope so. 601 horses under the hood of a front-wheel drive Civic. On the motorway, 60 miles an hour. Who actually does that on UK roads? Can I ask? Let's go! <laughs> and we're in auto because I switched it for men. Oh! Can you hear that? <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go! And we're off! Oh, yes! No grip whatsoever. We've got a chipmunk and everything. But this would be the most fun front wheel drive car ever. I mean, it already is one of the most fun. It's got the squeaky chipmunk inside! Is it louder inside? <laughs> I love it. I love when they have to squeak a chipmunk. But the, the problem with generally front-wheel drive cars is that they don't turn very well because it's front-wheel drive. And yes, this is the case here because it's got a lot of power. But that's okay. I want to see if I, if I sensibly drive it, if I drive it a little bit more, not full throttle to the ground, can I have a nice... Can we have a nice countryside little blast in a Civic Type R? If you want to be a MC version on that and you want to stick some proper meat and taters inside your whips, this is this is going to be the conclusive video should you buy it. Here we go. I had to laugh a little bit. All right, yep. Yeah, make an all-wheel drive. Oh! But I don't know, honestly, where this design came from because it is the most yobbo, screaming yobbo car I've ever seen in my life. And no yobbo on this earth can afford something like this. But... I'm a, I guess I can. I'm a bit of a, I, I, I'm a bit of a yobbo. I could potentially... Should I get one of the... No, no, I, I can't. I can't afford it because literally these cost like 30 odd grand, which is insane to me. Absolutely insane. We can get Focus RSs now, obviously used, for like 20 grand. Okay, Golf Rs. But still, you can get some crassic, cracking automobiles for this. I'm just hoping that the price jumps and flies down, and depreciates like all Hellfire. So I can afford one. You can see, especially at these speeds, the one thing I said, hey, with front-wheel drive cars, they don't turn very well. In this, you're going 160 miles an hour, and it turns just as well as a really grippy rear-wheel drive. For example, the McLaren Senna in this game, it turns really, really well. And for roads in the UK, you generally need a car that can turn, which is why we make fun of the Bugatti so often, <laughs> because they spend a million pounds on a car that can't take corners. Come up to a corner, dab of the brakes. Oh my God! How did I lose the back end? I've got race tires on. I was using the normal brake off the power and you can get the back to slide. 
Who needs rear wheel drive anymore? Front wheel drive are cheap. Just give us 600 horsepower in your front wheel drive car and we'll be hunky dory. No problems whatsoever. Look at this. Let off. Get a bit of. Oh, 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 oh no traction. Nice corner coming up. Dab with the brakes. Oh, we lost the back. It's all right. We re gripped it up. I bet that sensation feels amazing. If you lose the back of a front wheel drive car, but like, whoa! But now I'm back. I'm holding it. And I'm off again. Let's play with the car a little bit. Let's do some tunage to the spoonage that is the Civic Seppo. I think if we put the speed up a little bit, we'll get a bit more stability. I ain't no master tuner. I'm just testing out the basics, you know? Let's let's do the launch again. Go! Oh, oh, oh! Chipmunkin. That launch was much better. Back in, bang it into third gear. Control for God! All right, the game can pause. It's an online game that can pause. Isn't that absolutely genius? I know, they've bloody done it. Let's go. What can we get out of the front wheel dream? Civic Type R, it definitely, it feels obviously more tame now that I've changed the gears up a little bit. The little minute changes you can do to the steering, the brakes need a bit of help. It's so good because you're powering, obviously, it pulls, it pulls, it pulls. It's like not letting you turn. It's like, no! Don't turn! I am front wheel drive automobile! And then all of a sudden you pull, you, you let off and you can turn and oh, you're turning like you've got no power at the front. The Japanese have done it again. I don't know how to do it, but they're bloody dear every single team. I'm very impressed, Honda. Now please let me drive one of these in real life. I promise none of what happened in this video will actually happen to the car. But I can promise you I will have lots of fun because Forza says so, so it must be true, right? The thing is with the turns in these roads, they're not that aggressive. They look aggressive and you get to the turn, you're like, nah, they, they ain't gonna turn at all. But I was really surprised when they came out with another front wheel drive vehicle. I was just like, I wasn't really expecting it. I was expecting, you know, an all wheel drive version. I think that's what they're working on one now, but it'll be interesting to see how it benefits this little old hatch with the big <laughs> Yoppo styling on the front. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think of the Civic Type R down below in the comments. Do you like it more than the Focus RS? Do you like it less? I think if you put, you forced me to, to give you an opinion, I'd still go with the Focus RS because this is a this is a bit Yoppo-ish. Not that that's a bad thing because it's kind of, it's a statement, it's, it's bold, it's like, ah! But at the same time, I think you could be about 40 and drive the Focus RS, whereas you couldn't really be be 40 and drive this. <laughs> I mean, sure, go for it. You know, each to their own, but that's what I'm so Look at that! The back end just limps up. It's like a wongy leg. <laughs> no, we had to do it. Let's throw... Wrong one. All-wheel drive in the Civic Type R. Or do we try rear-wheel drive? How would the Civic be rear-wheel drive? It has this big, massive wing on the back, which obviously pulls it down. I mean, people always moan about front-wheel drive cars having wings on the back, but if you think about it, it pulls the back down, keeps it on the ground, so that when the power's at the front, the grip is all at the front, it's just pushing the back. It makes, like, it's not, it's not chavy, it's not wrong. In my, in my head, that's how it works, right? Logically. Anyway, before I make myself look even more stupid, let's put all-wheel drive on it, and let's get out of here and uh, play with my new Civic Type R that has the proper drivetrain. I don't really know if there's any real world body kits for this car yet, but oh, oh, hello. Oh, he's now a happy chappy. That was so much better. It feels like it's meant to be. You hear that Honda? This is how it should be. It should be all wheel drive. That's how, oh, I forget, I'm, I'm in manual now. I'm... Oh, you get the turbo noises, are you ready? <laughs> you quietly, slowly build up. Would you like to join my convoy? Well, I'm sorry you can't! The obvious complaint with this game is that obviously everyone complains that all-wheel drive cars are so overpowered and everything. Well, it's how it, that was how it is. If you do a lot of off- this, this game forces you off-road in most instances, so... Hey, make everything all-wheel drive. Go for it. That's what you gotta do to win, right? <laughs> but honestly... There's something still about this car. It doesn't feel like a lot of all-wheel drive cars. A lot of all-wheel drive cars, when you swap them, it doesn't feel right. It feels like it's kind of wrong in the sense that it doesn't control as an actual all-wheel drive car would out of the factory. It feels like, again, you've, you've slapped all-wheel drive on and you've not tuned it properly to do so. But this feels balanced still. It feels like you can still lose it almost by turning. You can get that, that oversteer that, that gives you more... 
it's weird because in this game, Overseer, it feels like it makes you feel more confident. It gives you more idea of how the car can handle, more idea of control of a vehicle. And I don't know, it's something weird about, <laughs> about this game, but it's doing it pretty well. Like normally when a car oversteers, you would be, it's not a good thing. It's not what you want, but it gives you more turnability with all wheel drive cars in this game. In a lot of instances, not in some, but especially if I had stock tires on, this wouldn't surprise me so much, but I've got these race tires on that I'm just braking and I can pull on a proper skid around a corner like that at 100 miles an hour. Who says you can't leave for speed? I'm sorry, brake to drift is real. <laughs> but there you go. If you want a nice all rounder that can do a little bit of everything except gripping properly because it can't do that very well. Uh, get yourself the new Civic Type R that is in the game, which I'm really impressed is actually in the game. So again, I want to say like, thank you. Thank you, my friends over at Playground Games. I swear I didn't forget and just do a jump cut because it's not why, it's just, it's totally why. Be sure, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and hit that join button if you want to support the channel a little bit further. But it's okay if you can't. Still, I still love you. I still ain't. I'm not going to abandon you. It's totally fine. Looks a little bit blue now, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.